If you're currently running a social media marketing agency or SMMA and not making any money or wanting to make more money and feel like you're spinning your wheels, this video is for you, my friends. In this video, I'm gonna unpack some of the most common mistakes that I see social media marketing agency owners make that stands in their way of making the big bucks with this business model. And I'm not only gonna explain what these mistakes are, I'm gonna give you tips on how to actually address them so you can start making bank with your agency. Before we jump into that though, I wanna let you know that we have an announcement. Derek and I are gonna be running a bootcamp cohort in February, where we're going to be helping agency owners establish repeatable processes for getting clients. This is going to be outside of the normal SMMA blueprint program, and it's going to be live calls on a weekly basis hosted by Derek and myself, where we talk about how to set up a repeatable process, set up messaging, set up infrastructure so you can go about getting more clients for your agency. It's going to be incredibly in-depth. It's going to be in a group format with built-in accountability. So we're very excited to release this. We haven't done a boot camp like this in the last couple of years honestly since 2021 i believe so seats will go for this very quickly so make sure to check out the link in the description down below to save your spot and without further ado let's jump into it the biggest mistake that i see a lot of agency owners make is a complete lack of focus specifically when it comes to outreach focus can really affect a lot of things if you're constantly distracted by your phone you're never going to do anything meaningful with your agency but what i mean here is that when we're trying to get clients for our agency i see a lot of agency owners jump around from niche to niche from outreach method to outreach method, trying a bunch of different messages and never giving enough of them enough focused effort to see if they're gonna work for them. What I suggest that you do instead is you pick two different methods of outreach. And I suggest that you hit a high volume of outreach through those channels for at least 30 to 60 days. Iterate within your messaging and your targeting for those different channels, but have the channels be the control. That way you'll be able to actually measure what's working, what's not, and you'll give enough runway to actually start seeing some meaningful results from those channels. This is something that Derek and I did when we first got started. We said, hey, we're gonna pick two different methods. What we picked was cold email and cold calling, believe it or not. And we started making a focused number of outreaches every single day. If you've been around the channel, you know, our target was 50 cold emails handwritten per day between both of us, which meant that there was 100 touch points going out every single day. And believe it or not, the first 30 days, we already had clients paying us because we were laser focused on those channels. The second big mistake that I see agency owners make all the time is they overestimate the actual amount of outreach that they're doing. Now, what I mean by this is that when you're doing outreach every day, especially when you're sending manual emails or manual outreaches, it's very easy because it's somewhat boring to overestimate the amount of touches that you've actually done. I'll give a personal example of this. As I just mentioned, Derek and I, when we were first reaching out to businesses, our target per day was 50 per day. Now, the first couple of days that we did this, I spent an hour doing outreach and I thought to myself, man, I must have done a hundred of these. Let me go and check how many I've sent. And I looked and it was actually like 25. I was only halfway there because I really wasn't working very efficiently. What I'm getting at here is it's very easy to overestimate the amount of touches that you've done. And as somebody who's been in sales for my entire career st before starting our social media marketing agency, there was a tactic that I always used when I was doing sales to make sure that I was actually hitting my number. And what I would do is I would keep a tally on my desk, especially if I was sending out cold emails. Every email that I sent, I'd add a tick to the tally. And this is something that I started doing when we started our social media marketing agency to make sure that I was hitting hitting that 50 number that we were shooting for without wasting a bunch of time having to go back and actually recount them. And this is something that I've seen echoed with so many agency owners that we've mentored. One of the big things that we mentored our students on was actually auditing how much outreach they had done. And every single one of them in the boot camp noticed that, hey, I think I've been actually overestimating the number of touches that I've been doing. And as soon as they actually start hitting the numbers that they should be hitting, say 50 outreaches per day, all of a sudden they started generating meetings, they started closing deals. It really is that simple. Sales really at the end of the day is a numbers game. When we're first starting our agencies, we are a salesperson. So that's just really the name of the game here. The third big mistake that I see a lot of agency owners make that stands in the way of them making big money with their agency is they just do not seem legit. Now, what I mean by this is when you're first getting started with your agency, it can be really tempting just to go the cheap route. You pick a dated website template, you use your Gmail instead of actually setting up your business email, and then you start doing some outreach and you really do not look professional at all. You look like a total novice or somebody that might even be scamming some of the people that you're reaching out to. I know I personally, if somebody reaches out to me with a Gmail offering any sort of business proposition, I'm gonna completely ignore it because it does not seem legit to me at all. So what you wanna do here is you wanna make sure that your entire business looks legit. There's no reason in today's day and age not to have a website that looks great. Use a website builder like I'm Creator, which is super inexpensive. 
Squarespace, or Wix. Get that website looking good, have it looking modern, especially if you're gonna be offering social media services to clients, your brand should look good itself. Make sure that you actually sign up for a business email and a business domain, so your agency.com, you wanna have an at email for that domain. It costs $10 a month through Google Workspace or Office 365, no matter what you choose. And these two things, having a good looking website and having a legitimate email will pay dividends when it comes to getting in front of clients for your business. The other thing comes down to messaging. So if you have a lot of misspellings in your outreach messages, if they don't look professional, if there's weird spacings in them, if your signature doesn't look good, all these things can affect the optics of the recipient and have them say, you know what, this doesn't look like a legitimate agency that I would like to have manage my social media for me and represent my brand. If you're not representing yourself well in the inbox for them, how do you think that client is gonna anticipate you representing their business in front of their clients? Think about that for a second and let's take a moment to make sure that everything looks polished. And if you're watching this thinking to yourself, hey Dave, I have no idea what I should be doing as far as a cold email outreach format. It's your lucky day. I've got a link in the description down below where we give you some free cold email templates that you can use right away for your business and start driving better results. The next big mistake that I see a lot of agency owners make is they actually aren't gaining agreement or exploring objections on the proposal review call. So in the SMA Blueprint program, we have a three-step close process, which I'm not gonna get into here, but if you're looking for an airtight way to get clients and follow our exact sales process, be sure to check out the SMA Blueprint program. But the third step is a proposal review call. And I suggest that everybody watching this right now do this step when you are actually posing your services to your clients and you're going over what the pricing is gonna look like. You wanna take them through a nicely designed, well put together proposal that addresses their needs as a business. But what oftentimes happens here is folks will go through this proposal review and they'll just talk their whole way through it. They'll get to the price and then it'll fall flat. The lead on the other end of the call will say something like, yeah, this sounds good, but I just need to think about it. Or something sort of passive where they aren't really agreeing to anything and there is no next step. And what most agency owners do here is they stop. They say, hey, that sounds great. Let's connect in a week or so. We can talk about what you thought of the proposal and hopefully get a partnership started when that lead has zero interest because they haven't actually been sold effectively on the services provided. So what I suggest here is if you don't have a slam dunk or if that person isn't saying, hey, I'd like to regroup and set up a call for next week to speak further or discuss getting started, what I suggest doing here is actually exploring why they aren't completely sold on doing business with your agency. So what I like to do here is I like to be completely honest and direct with them. I keep it very light though. So typically if they say something along the lines of, hey, this looks great, but let me think about it. I like to make light of it, laugh a little bit, and then explore those objections. So something like, <laughs> Totally get that, I hear that all the time. Listen, usually when folks tell me that they need to think about it, that means that I really haven't done an effective job of explaining to you exactly how this can help grow your business. I, I kind of get the sense that you're feeling the same way. Let me ask you this in complete honesty. What in this proposal do you think that you don't need? Or what do you feel is missing from this proposal to have it be a slam dunk in terms of how it can help you grow your business? And almost all the time when you ask direct questions like that, they're gonna open up and they're gonna start telling you things. Like actually when I was looking at slide four, that looks like we're something we're actually already doing. And simple things like that oftentimes are not deal breakers. You just need to adjust the scope of the project and you get the deal done. The other thing that I highly suggest that you do as well is I suggest that you schedule a next step call while live on that proposal review to regroup and get their thoughts. This way you have something on the calendar a week later or two weeks later where they have time to go and speak internally to think about it if they aren't completely sold on doing business with your agency and you don't have to go and email chase them to get that on the calendar. These are huge hacks that'll make a big difference in terms of getting more money in the door for your agency. Let us know what challenges you're having in the comment section down below and it might make it into a future video. Make sure to check out the Blueprint program or our Ascension program if you're looking to take your agency to the next level. And a great video to watch after this one would be this one right here where I talk about how to actually do automated cold email to get a huge amount of emails going out to your prospects every single week. That'll help you get the agency bag. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.